As Lafayette police offers training to help people protect their homes, one family becomes the target of a burglary. While jewelry and an iPod were taken, so were fireproof boxes full of pictures and items that cannot be replaced. Now they just want those boxes back. News 18's Brittany Tyner joins us now live at police headquarters with more on the training you can take part of so you don't become a target as well. Brittany? Dan, the training is designed to help protect people against burglaries, vandalism, thefts, and potential intruders. It's something one homeowner is urging people to take advantage of before it's too late. I believe these right here are their prints. Um, this, I think, is from the police officer. And this is where they kicked in the door and entered the house. That's what Aaron Smith's family came home to Monday afternoon. The criminal or criminals broke into his Southside Lafayette home and got away with jewelry and an iPod. Less valuable but far more damaging was the theft of two fireproof boxes full of family memories. And those contained videos uh, and pictures of our daughter growing up, including when she was born, things like that. It also included holiday events that probably included my father, who is now no longer with us. So. Those are things that we, you know, we just can't replace. And even though nobody was home when the break-in happened, Smith says his family's sense of security has also been stolen. That's why Lafayette police are offering training to teach people about fending off burglaries and other property crimes. Lieutenant Brian Gossard says the training will mainly consist of educating residents on preventative measures they can take to protect themselves. Criminals are generally looking for easy opportunities to get in, get out. Uh, if you make it difficult for them, you're much less likely to be a victim of a, a crime of, um, of opportunity. And while the information comes too late for Smith, he still hopes the items that don't come with a price tag somehow return to his family. We're not looking to solve a mystery here. We just want those things that we can't replace. You know, the jewelry, fine, you know, that's replaceable, but the items that we can't replace, you know, we'd just love to have those back because they mean the world to us. LPD's training session will be held March 31st. Seating is limited to 40 spots, so to reserve one of those seats, head on over to our website at WLFI.com. Reporting live in Lafayette, Brittany Tyner, News 18.